But as Dantes confidently commands the wheel, there now rises before him a younger and more innocent incarnation of himself, standing at the prow of another great ship he came to think of as his own, the Phaeron. Observe her now, most honoured friends, as she glides gracefully into the old port of Marseille. Ahoy there, Dante! Monsieur Moreau! On that most fateful and accursed of days. <laughs> we thought we lost you! Not a chance, monsieur! Thanks, sir, boy! Oh, hold on! I'm coming aboard! I'll have a rope lowered! February the 24th in the year 1815. Dead, Dantes? Captain Leclerc is dead? Fourteen long years before. The crew mourn him to a man. And you brought the Farron home in his stead? As was my duty as first mate. Did I do wrong? Wrong? <laughs> wrong? You may well have saved the business. You may well have saved Morel and Sons, boy. Oh, your father will be so proud of you. Hey, Dongla! Monsieur Morel? Is the cargo safe? Safe and sound and all accounted for. I have the complete inventory and if you that's like. that's all down to you, Edmund. Sorry? It was nothing. <laughs> nothing, he says. Well, Dongla, I wouldn't want to guess at the true contents of your sorry soul, but you and the rest of the crew must be down on your knees thanking the good Lord <laughs> no, for sending no. us Dante's here <laughs> as Captain Leclerc's first mate. Uh, I can't speak for the rest of the crew, but... My poor knees are quite worn to splinters from all that giving thanks. <laughs> <laughs> worn to splinters. Did he hear that, Dante? Tie them ropes off. Aye, aye. Wait, Francois, I'm coming. If you'll excuse me, Monsieur Morel, uh, Dongla. Dante's. Francois, give me the rope. What a find that young man is. I shall make him captain, I think. Of the Pharaoh? Seafaring talent like that can't go to waste. Well, indeed not, Monsieur Morel. Indeed not. Still, there is the matter of, um... Of what? Of our stop at Elba. Our unexpected stop. Most irregular. What on earth were you doing on Elba? Who can say? Well, I'm sure it was nothing. But well, for God's sake, man. Well, I did happen to glance in on poor Captain Leclerc as he lay dying and saw... Yeah, I'm sure it was nothing. You saw what? The captain give Dantes a package. Addressed to? My fortune teller, Monsieur Morel. All I know is that it delayed our arrival at Marseille by a good two days. Uh, isn't there something you should be doing, Dongla? I'm all done, I believe. Then lend a hand over there, will you? Not upset you, I hope, sir. You did ask. Yeah, not at all. It's just, just... I'm on my way. Dante! Monsieur! What's this I hear about you stopping off at Elba? Was there some kind of emergency? No, there was no emergency. Captain Leclerc gave me a package for the Grand Marshal. The Grand? And did you deliver it? As instructed. It was an order. It was Captain Leclerc's last. I see. Listen, Edmund, while you were on Elba, you didn't happen to see... He came to speak with the Marshal while I was there. Asked about the ship, its cargo. And when I mentioned your name, he recalled that he served with a Morel in Venice. You spoke with him? <laughs> For half a minute. And the Emperor remembered my Uncle Polygar? If that was his... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> All the same, Dante. Monsieur? One shouldn't be talking openly of conversations with Napoleon Bonaparte. Especially in public. No? Edmund, my boy, listen. It doesn't matter how fine a sailor you are, you can't afford to be naive. Not with the Emperor exiled and the King restored. This is France. Politics. Politics. Everything is politics. Do you know what was contained in the package you handed to the Marshal? No idea. I swear. Yeah. And long may it stay there. Customs are coming aboard with your permission. You're a good boy, Edmund. A good, good boy. And you are the best of men. Indeed, I consider myself to have two fathers. <laughs> my own and your own good self, monsieur. Uh, you will send my very best to your father, won't you? Uh, I will, sir. As soon as I'm done here, I intend to go straight home. Oh, you'd better look lively there, Dantes. 
Well, after all, I understand there's also a certain young Catalan who'll be very glad to know your home safe. <laughs> Mercedes. The most eh? beautiful girl in all Marseille, they <laughs> in, say. In all the world, monsieur. <laughs> Talk like that would charm a mermaid boy. Well, Monsieur Morel, oh, haven't you got anything better to do than pester me, Dongla? Did young Dantes give good reason for us stopping Elba? Me did, Dongles. He did, yes. Now I'd like to see the inventory. It's a shame to see him neglecting his duty. He neglected nothing. Then he told you about the other letter. What other letter? The letter he was given along with the package by Captain Leclerc. I was sure he would have mentioned it. If that letter exists, then I'll ask for it and Edmund will give it straight to me. Uh, best not, monsieur. Let sleeping dogs lie, eh? Then why bring up the bloody thing, man? Uh, idle curiosity. Nothing more. I'd hate to see Dantes get into any kind of trouble. Times being what they are. I'll fetch you up that inventory. Maltese! Maltese! But Dantes' reverie is not to last. Daydreaming again, Maltese? Captain Patan. Something the matter with you, man? Not a thing. Set a course for the Isle of Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo? Someone step on your grave? Huh? I don't know the place, do you? I'll set a course straight away. And set a course for her he does, while his soul trembles with excitement and apprehension. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Monte... What the hell's happened? Coast Guard Patrol, Captain Patan. Poor sight. Can we outrun him? <laughs> no chance. Pass it, so kill us! Maltese. Yes, Captain. Get yourself a gun. A gun? You know how to handle a gun, don't you? I do. And stand your ground. You may depend upon it. Ten minutes later, and the deck of the Jeune Amélie is soaked. Help me, we'll cease Help me! In blood. They're not saving you, pirate! Lower your weapon. He's talking to me. Lower your weapon or I shoot. We are the king's Cosca. I answer to no earthly king. You what? You killed him, Ortiz. You bloody killed him. Are you all right? I, th I think so. Then let's get this done! As dawn breaks across the sea, there is no sign of the Coast Guard or their scuttled boat. There is just the blue, blue water lapping in the still of the morning. Did what we had to do, lads. Coast Guard wasn't looking to bring any of us in for trial. You know it. I know it. Now I say we head to Monte Cristo. Leave last night to the sea. You with me? Aye. Aye. What are we waiting for? Monte Cristo! <laughs> Maltese, when you're ready! With the gentlest of touches, the Jeune Amélie at last sails out across that lively sea where even the waves seem to sing Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo! Bring her in! Maltese! Words cannot do justice to Dante's first glimpse of the barren Isle of Monte Cristo with its outcrops of skull-white rock baking in the two o'clock sun. Drop anchor! With its flocks of wild goats scampering curiously this way and that as they take a first glimpse of the crew of the Jeune Amélie now setting up camp on that long, undisturbed beach. Maltese! Yes, Captain? You and Jacopo take a scout around the island while we set up camp down here. I'd sooner go on my own. Why? I'll be faster on my own. What are you standing there for? Dante's heart is fit to burst with anticipation. And Maltese! Yes, Captain? Bring us back some dinner! <laughs> For over an hour, Dantes climbs and clambers across the rocks of Monte Cristo, the words of Abbe Faria repeating in his ears. 
Where pride, ripper, bed, ends, and ravine begins. The ravine begins. Those are Those the caves, are the caves where you are first to look. Remorselessly, the sun beats down upon poor Dantes, but no amount of heat will slow him in his quest. And after an hour following the river... The ravine. This must be the ravine. Maltese! Where are you, Maltese? Jacopo! Captain says he wants everybody back in the boat! On my way! Did you kill a goat for roasting? It's by the overhang over there. Oh. What do you think, then? Monte Cristo? I can see why nobody much bothers with it. Let's get back, shall we? Maltese. What? When the Coast Guard came aboard, uh -huh. it said you answered to no earthly king. It was his life or yours. Hey, and don't think I'm not grateful, but... I still don't understand what... If that's so, then I hope you'll do something for me, Jacopo. Name it. Never question me like that again. Agreed? If, if you say so, Maltese. Uh, the goat's in that cave, yonder. <laughs> You're not going to try and jump that gap, are you? <laughs> watch me. But well, why have you fallen between well, the rocks? I know what I'm doing. Hey, you watch yourself. Always. You're not suggesting I leave you here, Martin. I'm suggesting you finish your trade with the Turk and then send someone back to find me, Captain. Try and move, just a little. It's no good. My back, my back. I'll stay with him. That might be best. You need Jacobo on board with you, Captain. You know... You, you know you do. We'll leave you food, drink, and such provisions as you'll need. But mark my words, we'll be back for you, Maltese. Come, Jacopo! Hey, you look after yourself, my friend. You too. You too. I don't want to lose the wind, Jacopo! I'll make sure Patan's true to his word. Go! That you can die on us! Go! But no sooner has the jeune Emily set sail than... <laughs> To work, Dantes. To work. Where tried river bed ends and the ravine begins. Those are the caves where you are first to look. You ask me, my most honored friends, to describe the exact location of where Dantes at last discovers. <coughs> Is this the cave, Abbe Faria? Is this the cave where you hid your treasure, my dear old friend? But now... As his eyes adjust to the dark of the cave, God be praised. he sees, dazzling, even in that pale half-light, a cavern crammed tight with emeralds and diamonds and pearls without compare. It's not... it's not possible. Where he discovers such riches as are not found in heaven. And at this moment, in a forgotten cave on the all but forgotten isle of Monte Cristo. Dead, you say? I'm sorry to say so. His true journey begins. Dantes is dead. He is. To Dantes. Dear departed Dantes. To Dantes. Won't you at least let me pour your glass of wine in his memory, Abbe Bassani? I am quite content with water. The sign of the inn of the Pont du Gard creaks in even the slightest breeze. <laughs>